This is how we'll do it. Demo squad, that's enough. Get back here. Check your gear. Shoes tight. Zippers up. Get ready, people. Up, what the fuck? Oops, uh, no, I wouldn't need this. No one's on that turret. I could certainly absorb a lot of damage. I mean, I guess if I wanted to take over a Metro, that's how I'd do it. I just keep killing them while I'm uh, being dragged away. I guess I could take the other rifle. Except it's not reloaded. <laughs> Hot damn. <laughs> That's awesome. 10 out of 10. Thanks. What the fuck do we do? Second platform. Uh, no, I don't think. I'm trying to- I'm trying to see where- okay, so there's a tank. Well, that didn't work. For fuck's sake. Ah! Uh, <laughs> right. Wait, wait a minute, wait. Why is that red? I just noticed that now. Are you fucking serious? I'm supposed to shoot the red bits, not the actual second platform. Oh, fuck. Okay, what's red now? I, I can't tell. Like, I'm, he goes second platform. I want to really kill that fucking turret. Okay, that was not it. Oh, guess the wheels were red. I thought that was just paint job. 
All right. And that thing's red now. Okay. Fucking serious. That was so much easier than what I was doing fucking before. They're falling back. We won. We beat them. We really beat them. You don't fuck with Rangers. Don't get too cocky. They're still strong. They may take our land. Colonel, wounded are out of the fire zone and headed to the evac point. Well done. Regroup and get ready. They're going to go at it again any moment now. Yes, sir. I like a minigun. I like more notes. Like, I just, like, missed all of them here, and then all of a sudden, whoop. Oh, I, I don't know if I showed you the first one, actually, so I'll just go through it again. It was, like, right over there. I found it. Best Rockets 2013. Let's try the minigun. Whoa. I wonder if that's sniper ammo it's using, so nah. You guys are pretty heavily armored. Oh look, I, I added more fire to the mix. I have a lot of guys with armor that are really dumb and slow. Guys, fall back! Some ammunition, thank you. Oh god, he has a flamethrower. It's a pyro, must target him first. Oh wait, they're they're they got shields. I hate pyros. Damn it. Can I just like shoot him in the fucking thing there? There you go. I like this thing. I, I, although the silencer is probably unnecessary. Oh, it looks like I'm supposed to shoot that thing off his back. Uh oh. That looks like I got him. Our only option is to destroy it. Count us in, sir. What the hell? Nobody lives forever. What the hell is this? Shit! Not again! Save your voice, Gideon. Here, get our only day Spartans. 
feel a bit like Xerxes. What an unforgivable waste of men and resources. So many good soldiers lost. And for what? Police station? The council? Ah, uh, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or oh, what remains of you? Artyom, it is time. And who might this be? Ah, the resourceful young man. Tell me, Artyom, savior of the metro. Where are you going? Stop it! Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. Your papa defeated our enemies and saved the metro. Was my papa brave? The bravest of us all, because he was never afraid to embrace the things he didn't understand. And where did the dark ones go, mama? Away to a safe place. But they promised to come back. Well, I guess it's the end. I take it that's not the good finger quotes ending. Um, it didn't give me a prompt, and if I recall, if I, I don't think you do get a prompt if you did the wrong. I don't know what I did incorrectly. Um, that's odd. Because uh, I was doing all the, the nice things. That was enough last time, but uh, I guess there's more to it than that. Oh, well. It's an ending nonetheless. Um... So yeah, we're here, we're at the ending, and, uh, uh, I, it's, it's okay, uh, the whole thing. Um, not as good as 2033, not by a long shot. Uh, its predecessor was much better. Uh, but I did hear a whole lot of things about how they were basically, it was really difficult to develop because of a whole bunch of, um, like they had really bad working conditions and things like that. So I, um, I commend them for that, but, uh, at the same time, there's just, like, you know, there was only, like, it's it's a great achievement, don't get me wrong. There's a couple things that sort of annoy me. Um, first of all, it's, this is even more linear than 2033 was. Even, like, way more so. Um, I really couldn't think of how they could do it. Like, I know I even missed some of those, like, little notes and stuff like that. I don't know, like, you probably may have seen them on the screen once or twice, and I just kind of just skipped over them. You know, that's, that's how I am. But it's just kind of like, there wasn't much to divert from and explore. And you know, even if you did, I, I don't think there was much reward to begin with. Because um, like, what do they do? They give you more ammo? I'm like, fucking come on. Um, so, you know, I, I wasn't too sold on that. Um, probably shouldn't have gone for the sniper at the very end there. Uh, I know this is me saying that, but it's just like there was. I barely really got to use it, except like I guess against the tank and at the very, very end. And so that was kind of like um, interesting to say the least. I, I don't know. I, I and I I think Metro uh, the, the the Ranger Hardcore difficulty just sucked because it's like you know it was it was it kind of more immersive in. The previous uh, in 2033, but in Last Light, it's just like it's annoying because I I 
I can't tell when things are like it's it's gotten to the point where it's like like okay you remove the UI but it's to the point of like like you can't use it it's 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 you can't play properly it's it's like the usability is just gone and so it was more annoying than anything like it, instead of it being more immersive and bring you kind of more into the the universe um, it was just kind of like irritating because I was kind of like uh, is this a cutscene where I'm gonna have to like mash E a whole lot or something or like I'm I'm putting put against a situation where I have to start a car or like possibly kill someone or something and I, I don't know what to do so yeah, this looks a little different the menu. Oh, this is this is different. I feel like we're just kind of driving through the metro. Um, I didn't agree with the whole DLC thing either. Um, obviously, but I I don't really want to talk about that either. Um, I don't know. To all in all, I just I kind of left this. I'm just kind of unsatisfied. The ending was like the, the whole plot like. A fucking Khan was like I think a stoner or something because he was just like constantly like having these visions and tripping out or something like <laughs> I, I I don't know like it's I, I like I had a much better experience with uh, 2033 I was hoping to get the same thing but I don't know the plot left a lot to be required um, the fact I couldn't see ammo or what uh, throwable like okay by the way the thing about the throwable is that was seriously irritating because I couldn't tell which one I had equipped and so I, I sometimes threw the wrong thing and I'm, I'm just like, why can't I have like, you know, maybe like 7890 or something on my keyboard? Maybe that will like, you know, switch to a specific one. If I can switch to a specific one and then throw it, you know, that kind of makes sense. But, or like have a key for it. But it, it's kind of like they did a half-assed porting job because it has the, basically what it has is, um, I, I can't really show you, but if you, I guess if you watch on their video or something, or you play it yourself, there's like a radial menu where you use the analog stick. And so what you do is you actually use the mouse on the on the um, mouse and keyboard, and you use the mouse to basically select the knife, the grenades, or the the trip mine, right? And and it was just like left over from the porting, so it was like it was kind of a shoddy port to begin with, because uh, it's it just controls horribly. It really does. Um, I mean, they put an FOV afterwards, so that's kind of good. But like, I'm not actually satisfied with the amount of porting that went in that ranger hardcore is just like it's annoying difficulty if anything and like you know it's i like the immersion but this one kind of just just kind of like it's just you're annoyed and so you know you're fumbling trying to mess with the controls rather than kind of like getting deep into the universe in the game so um i i don't know i you know it was it was okay they had they had some they have some ups you know uh, but there's a whole lot of downs because like it was just i i didn't like the fact i couldn't like, and you're and you're probably going, why did you pick Ranger Hardcore? Well, this is not what I expected from the last one, right? Like the last one, I could actually see my ammo if I really needed to, because it, it doesn't make sense to hide that from you, you know? I don't know. Um, the end game and the boss, like, oh dear God, oh the bosses, I have to talk about that. The bosses were like, um, okay, so basically the whole point of Ranger Hardcore is that. Um, the, d the way the difficulty scales is that you die really quickly, but everything else you kill dies really quickly too. So if you watched me doing Metro 2033, there was a part with like librarians where I was killing them like with like stealth knives and shit and just kind of dicking around. And but the thing is, those are normally supposed to be hard, but since I was playing on Ranger Hardcore, it was actually kind of easier in the fact that I would normally kill them before they went up and did any damage to me. Uh, but that's that's kind of how just it, the difficulty goes. So there's really no hard or easy in this kind of a game. It's kind of odd. But anyways, um, in this one, um, I didn't at any point feel like I died really quickly. Usually when I died, it was because I was being retarded, uh, or I or it was like a no-win situation. Anyways, like I kind of I broke stealth in the middle of like like 10 guys like I, I wouldn't really expect to if I survived that then I would be really kind of like this was this is shit but <laughs> um you know it's as I said typically when I died it was like yeah it was it was kind of um I, I took I took quite a number of hits basically um and like the thing is in Ranger Hardcore in 2033 um I would have situations where if I fucked up and uh, they like if if, they, if I fucked up and there was like one guy with like his AK or whatever and he's like right in front of me he just shoot me a couple times and I'd die, um, which is which is good. In this one I feel like 
I'm, I'm a bullet sponge. Um, the only times I ever really would die against one guy was when they had like an automatic shotgun or something that has a, a high DPS. Uh, when they had like machine guns, I would just, I would just absorb bullets and not give a fuck. Um, so, really poor decision making in that. And I think the other problem was that I found was, um, uh, what's gonna call it? The bosses, boss fights. There was like four of them or something. I utterly hate boss fights. It ruined the whole experience for me. Like, why? Why did they have to bring that in? Oh my god. I I hate boss fights in any games, especially... Like, they really don't fit in FPS titles. And they, they didn't have any boss fights in, in 2033. Um, and this one, they had like, like four of them. And I'm just... And they were bullet sponges too, which completely goes against the whole, like, experience that, you know, like, the Ranger of Core normally is, so... I don't know. I, I... I didn't like it. Um, I heard Total Biscuit talked about it, uh, t talking about it, and he said, you know, you liked it over Bioshock Infinite, and I... I kind of like Bioshock Infinite over this, to be honest. I found this to be very linear, very frustrating, and very... I don't know. Kind of, kind of just unimaginative. Uh, so, you know, if you like it, that's fine. Uh, this is just my own personal preference. I, I just, I, I, I didn't really buy into it a whole lot. That's, that's it. I just, I, I didn't like it. Um, no, I, I, I wouldn't say I hated it, though. I would say it's okay, as I said. Like, it, you know, you'd probably have a better experience not playing on Ranger Hardcore. Yeah, there's really not much else here show. Like, oh, let's see my graphic options. I had, like, Phys X on and some other crap. I don't know. It, it could have been, it could have been a lot better. That's, that's all I feel. Let's see the store. Oh, by the way, I have no idea why my Steam interface is all of a sudden recording now. Hey, look, you can buy a fucking Ranger mode for, for five bucks if you want. I don't know, it's kind of retarded. Oh, well. Um, I did, I hope, I, I hope you did enjoy. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know what you guys think. Also, I don't know what I did wrong with with in terms of the ending. Um, I guess I'll, uh, I'll look that up because I, I I didn't get an option. Maybe there's like a quick time event that I was supposed to do or something. I don't know. Because um, as far as I'm, I was concerned, that was just a cutscene that just it didn't give me a choice. So uh, whatever. <laughs> I, I I don't know. You know, I I have to say like. The gunplay didn't feel very desperate, so that, that also kind of broke the immersion, but, you know, it was still kind of fun in the sense that stealth knives, stealthing, and stuff like that was still kind of fun. And weapons with silencers and all that. I don't know. I think it had more problems than it had really good things about it, so... Uh, but, you know, I'm not pissed off at the... I, I don't think I got bad value, necessarily. Um, I paid like 45 bucks for this, so... It wasn't that bad, but... Still, all the same. Could have been better. Well, I hope you liked it, and tell me what you think, and uh, and uh, all that kind of crap. So I'll see you next time for, for something else. Bye.